Yeah, I've interviewed, I think it's over 200 SaaS CEOs over the last year and a half, right? On my, on my show, Nicholas was one of them, which was awesome. And so one of the things though that, that strikes me as weird is most tech companies are solely using it for their product, okay? Which I think is is right. It's 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 the right way to do it, but it's only half the equation. The other half of the equation is like, what's an organization's largest expense? It used to be real estate. Now that's cutting back and it's labor. It's labor and real estate, right? So imagine if you enabled your workforce to basically be sales AI enabled, right? Or just AI enabled if you're talking non-sales roles and effectively increase the output by 30% of what your entire organization is doing. If you're a $10 million company, that brings you to 13 million without changing anything else, just by giving them the skills and the capabilities, by educating them what's possible, and then really giving them either the tools or, and I should say it's not just the tools, it's the tools and the education on how to create useful business cases. And that that's where I see a lot of organizations really, really missing the mark because uh, that's going to really transform the landscape of what's, you know, competition and it's going to be table stakes pretty soon. So. Excellent. And by the way, it's great that you've got two of the greatest salespeople behind you there, Michael Scott and Dwight. Yeah.